Okay, this is me uploading every day. So Mr. Beast hires me. Running a mile. I you know, was thinking about, have you ever noticed that everything comes in sevens? So like seven days of the week, seven deadly sins. Um, the seven pounds that I'm able to bench press. Uh, that's curious to me. So I wonder what that's about. So it turns out people have noticed this too. The largest reason is biblical. Seven is very significant in the Bible for seven days that the world was created, seven um, deadly sins. Honestly, the ones that kind of stuck out to me. So here are some that are interesting that I hadn't thought of. Seven wonders of the world, seven colors in the rainbow, seven swans of swimming, seven notes on a musical scale. The ones that are, I think are specifically interesting are the seven colors in the rainbow and the seven notes on the musical scale. I don't know enough about music or science to be sure about this, but those are the only two that I can think of that are like, that aren't man-made. Seven dwarves, seven wonders of the world, seven uh, swans of swimming. Those distinctions aren't specifically influenced by the preference of people because people do prefer just seven. It, now this is even cooler. So... Islam, Judaism, seven has seven heavens. Muslim people walk around the Kaaba seven times. So that those religions are close enough. So I'm not surprised that they have the 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 imagery and symbolism of the seven. Seven represents harmony and with yin yang and the five elements in Confucianism. Seven higher worlds and seven underworlds in Hinduism and then Buddhism, which is not religiously locked. The newborn Buddha takes seven steps. I will say I'm not 100% sure on some of these. They're not my religions, so I'm not a reservoir. But if those things are true, that's interesting to me because that means the significance of seven actually is beyond the influence of one specific religion to then put significance on seven, so like the psycho psychology of it. But this means that there are both Western and Eastern traditions uh, that really emphasize the number seven. All right, I'm just going to wrap this out by listing off some of the cool sevens. Uh, and tell me down below if I'm wrong on some of these. Seven oceans, seven continents, seven vertebrae in the neck, seven layers of skin, two outer, five inner. Uh, ocean waves roll in sevens. Never heard of that before. Seven colors of the rainbow, seven notes in sound. There are seven directions. Huh, yeah. There are seven holes in your head. I thought that one was cool. Earth was created in seven days. You know, a cube has seven dimensions, if you count the inside. And the number seven is used 735 times in the Bible. So a lot of, there are a lot of biblical and social <clears throat> sevens, but the scientific and like definitive ones are more interesting to me. Those set, technically seven oceans and seven continents, those are you know, arbitrarily decided by humans, but the seven vertebrae in the neck, that's interesting to me, and the seven layers of the skin. Though I guess we get to decide whether or not, like, something's considered a vertebrae and what is considered a layer of skin. So what do you think? Do you think this infatuation with the number seven is completely artificial, or is there a natural significance to the number of seven that we have just tuned in? I would be very interested to know what you think. All right. And as always, I'm looking forward to working with you, Jimmy. Maybe it'll be in seven days.